Hello and welcome to this week's Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm Dieta Whitlock, one of your instructional technology specialists, and I have got some exciting news. And that news is that the district recently purchased Read and Write. Read and Write replaces all the Don Johnston tools that we had previously. So the company Text Help purchased Don Johnston and they added those tools to their read and write toolbar. And so now we've got this really very interactive and very, very useful menu that all of our students in the district can use. All students currently have the read and write extension added to their Chrome. So all students already have this. Teachers, if you're interested in having this extension on your Chrome web browser, directions on how to do that will follow. Because our agenda is quite big this week, we are going to use an agenda, a visual to help keep us on track. So we've got four things that we're going to do. We're going to look at the five menu items. We're going to have a brief demonstration of each of these five. And then I'm going to show you how you can get to our web page that's going to give you additional information about Read and Write, about the remaining menu items, and how you can use it with your students, as well as how you can download the Chrome extension for your laptop. And then we're going to look at how your students can use Read and Write and how you, the teacher, can help them. So first, let's just do a quick introduction to five of the Read and Write menu items. We're going to take a moment and look at Prediction, which was formerly Co-Writer. Uh, the next one is Hover Speech, and this is where a student is anywhere on the uh, Chrome and on a website. They can just hover their mouse and it will read the text to them without even having to highlight. The next one is Translator. Uh, the fourth one is Highlighters and Collect Highlights. Simplify page will be very useful for a large number of our students because it will remove the clutter from web pages, increase the font, change the font, increase the line space, and even change the color contrast. So we're gonna get into it now and I'm gonna show you how to use these. So let's do a brief demonstration of these five menu items. So first we're going to uh, get a Google Doc up and we're gonna start typing. I'm gonna go here onto my extension bar and you can see this little puzzle piece with the R and the W is read and write. I'm gonna click on it and it gives me this menu. This menu can be moved about the page as well as going into settings and I can make the menu be vertically or horizontally. So I'm going to click on prediction and it immediately it pops up a list of words that I might could use. Next, we're going to use hover speed. So scrolling down, I'm going to just click on the hover speech, bring my mouse. The inner regions of M90S disk. The inner regions of M90S disk are sites of star formation, seen here in red edge alpha light from nebulae. So as my mouse is going along, it continues to read. Notice that if I kept my mouse here at the beginning, it was going to continue repeating those first few words. So you do need to travel your mouse. When you're finished using this, just click on it and it closes it. The next set of tools is translate. So this will translate a word. So we're going to highlight a word and then go to translate gives it to you in the English form formation formation esquadrilla next is the highlighting tools you've got four different color highlighters and I'm a student who is doing some research so I want to gather this information right here I highlight it click the color once I've 
done all of my highlighting, I can click the circle of arrows to collect the highlights. I can sort them by color or position and also just collect a certain color, but I'm going to collect all colors. It opens up a Google Doc in my drive with my color highlights as well as the link to the website where I collected these highlights. The last one I'm demonstrating for our Tech Tip Tuesday is Simplify Page. And notice all the stuff that's on the page. Once the Simplify has started, you see it's removed all that extra stuff. I can come here and click Simplify the text. Bring it back. I can change the contrast. I can change the font and its size. And then I can also change the line spacing. Single, one and a half, double. So after seeing the demonstration of just those five menu items, I hope you're excited too. So now let's see how you can access our webpage about Read and Write and learn more about the other menu items and how you can explore the best use for each of those tools. You're going to go to bit.ly backslash cmcss ITS. That's B-I-T dot L-Y backslash C-M-C-S-S-I-T-S. -S -S when you arrive, you're at our instructional technology webpage. If you've never been here before, go ahead and star this and bookmark it so that you can have it easily accessible for the future. So we're going to go to Program Resources and scroll down to find Read and Write. This webpage is developed with you and your students in mind. When you scroll down, you'll see a brief introduction video, but the first thing is we put a comparison chart on here for all of those teachers that have used Snap and Read in the past so that you can see uh, how they compare. If you want to learn more about the individual tools, you've got two options. You can come here and do a feature tour, click the link brings you to Text Helps Academy. And the really nice thing about this is that all of the menu items are on the left. And so you want to learn more about Audio Maker. Click. It gives you a video, how to use it, and then a video of how to use it in your classroom. But if you're not a video watching kind of person, you can go to the hotspot, which is a thing link any of these flashing arrows, anything on here that's flashing, has got information. So I can hover my mouse, and this is about Audio Maker. When I click it, it opens it up, shows me what it does, and then if I want to watch a video, I can watch a video. This section is how to get the extension. So as a teacher, you're going to need to go to the Chrome Web Store, but if you click this link, it will take you directly to the Read and Write extension. And then you just click Add Extension to your Chrome and then follow the steps. Students, remember, already have it loaded on their laptops, so you don't have to do anything with the students. The students don't have to do anything. Once it's downloaded, you might want to pin the extension. That's what I've done here. Because I want easy access to this extension, I've pinned it. Teachers, you can pin it as well, but you're definitely going to need to show your students how they can pin Read and Write to their Chrome bar. And then we have two tutorials. Uh, both of them are about an hour long. Uh, the nice thing about these tutorials is that they're divided up. So these are things over here on the left that you might be familiar with. 
and versus the ones on the right. There's a few here on the right that are brand new to us. If you want to uh, learn this way, click this arrow and it opens up a Google Doc. And I like this because I scroll down and it has the tool how to use it with the students. And then you can click here for a video or you can click here for a training guide. So you can, you have a choice. You can get as in depth with this as you want and learn about the tools that you want to learn about at your own speed. And last on our agenda is how can you help your students with read and write? Bring them to bit.ly backslash cmcss ITS and it will bring them to our instructional technology page and there's nothing here that's secret. Show them how to go to the program resources and scroll down to find read and write. And then from here, you can show them that there are, uh, there's a chart, but the thing I believe students will probably navigate to is the video tour. Last, don't forget, is that the students already have the extension, but you will need to show them how to pin it or direct them to this web page so that they can pin the extension to make it easier for them to have it in their Chrome toolbar. Today's video was a lot longer than our typical Tech Tip Tuesday, but we felt that it was really important to show you the menu items and to show you how some of them worked and also to show you how to get to our web page so that you can learn more about the Read and Write Chrome extension. And as always, if you have questions about how to use Read and Write as a, an educator or how you can help your students use Read and Write, please reach out to us at instructional technology at cmcss.net. Thank you.